The Italian M-series tanks of World War II are often remembered not just for their widespread deployment in North Africa and the Mediterranean, but also for their distinctive construction method. In some of my previous videos I described the construction type of the Italian medium tanks as riveted. I had many replies in the comments stating that the construction method was bolted. When I've conducted research for these presentations on the tanks, I've mostly been sourcing from English websites or publications. Many of them tend to generalise the construction of these vehicles as riveted. English sources sometimes get information wrong on the Italian tanks of World War II. Observers commonly mistake the external appearance of Italian tanks for riveted construction, since bolts and rivets look similar in photographs, especially from further away. The reality is that the majority of armour plates on the Italian tanks were fastened with bolts. I include myself in getting this observation wrong when looking at old photos of the tanks. I just want to clear things up with a short presentation today. I'm not an engineering man, so recently I've been looking into the differences between riveted and bolted construction, including how to tell the difference between the two. Now, if you get up close to these vehicles, it really isn't that difficult to tell what is a bolt and what is a rivet fastening an armour plate. Here is a screenshot of the front of a surviving M1441 Italian medium tank, which is based in the United States. What you are seeing on the front plates are bolts, including the plates on the turret. And if we look at evidence here, we can see in this second screenshot of the same tank to the rear, the engine deck, there are bolts, and you can see them fastening the plate down with the nut underneath. So with a bolt, they are inserted through holes in the plate and then tightened with the nut using a wrench to fasten into place. Rivets look different from a bird's eye view. They usually have a wider circumference, but they do not jut out like a bolt. They are not as bulky. They are usually flatter to the surface of the plate. And in this same screenshot, there is evidence of riveting. I will circle around the rivets. So as you can see, there is not much riveting that has taken place. Most of the structure and the armor plating is fastened with bolts. It appears lower parts of the structure have been riveted. It's been difficult to tell with old black and white photos, so I've had to look at surviving vehicles in recent videos and photos. If we look at this other screenshot of an M1441 at the Bovington Tank Museum, again, all at the front of the tank here and the turret are bolts. Some of them are worn down, so in a black and white photo, these might appear as rivets. But as you can see, these have a hexagonal shape, typical of a bolt rivets are usually rounded. If we take a look at a tank of riveted construction now, used by the British, an early production of the M3 Grant, again at the Bovington Tank Museum. All of these round shapes fastening the armour plates are rivets, rounded, wider circumference, but less bulky than what a bolt head would be. And there is evidence in this photo of bolted construction too, at the lower front plates of the M3 here, they are bolts. To conclude, the Italian M tanks were of mostly bolted construction with only minor riveting. Using bolted construction rather than riveted has serious implications for the sturdiness of the tank and the protection of the crew. And I'll be discussing that in another video soon as I explore the truth about why Italy's World War II tanks fell behind and the real reasons for industrial failure.